October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and it's a rising concern here in our state. But as 8 News Now reporter Lauren Negretti shows us, Safe Nest is celebrating some new laws that can help. Laura Angel Gooden. Jodine Robinson. Galenda Fries. Daniela Rosada. Growing up in a domestic violence home, that's what I thought was normal. So that continued all throughout my, ad my adulthood, and I am proud to say that I'm a survivor. Linda Perez is the CEO of The Shade Tree, a domestic violence shelter and resource center using her own experiences to make a positive impact. And we want to remember those that have lost their lives. Governor Joe Lombardo joined Safe Nest and other law leaders to celebrate new laws aimed at helping victims. They include access to telehealth and free forensic exams for strangulation. Women that are strangled in domestic violence have a 750% higher likelihood of being victims of homicide on the first strangulation. Most women do not call 911 until they have been strangled five times. Safe Nest CEO Liz Ortenberger hopes the laws also reduce local homicides. Metro reports a nearly 50 percent increase in domestic violence deaths, and domestic violence is a top factor in homicides. Another piece of legislation extending domestic violence arrests. AB 51 gives us seven days instead of that 24-hour window. This is going to save lives. Needed actions. As national stats say, one in four women and one in nine men experience a form of domestic violence. You, someone you know, someone you love, has or will be affected by domestic violence. We have to start talking about it. We can change our families, we can break the cycle, and we can impact our communities. Lauren Negretti, 8 News Now.